a day later. Where's your head at this morning when you process that series? Still disappointing. I mean, it's still the same feeling that we felt right after. Um, obviously, a great opportunity to win our first series and uh, came up short. You've been around a lot of these series. What does this franchise, this team, need to do to get through a round and win a series? What's missing? Uh, I, I think just uh, learning from mistakes. Um, you know, we. You know, obviously special teams was a factor in the series, but uh, I said it last night. We we made too many mistakes, you know, too many crucial mistakes at at uh, at bad times, and uh, you know whether it was a line change, it was just small things like that. We shot ourselves in the foot and taking a bad penalty, a slashing penalty, a high sticking penalty, making it a five on three. Um, learn from that experience and uh, and grow from it. And you know, I, I think there'll be no issues in, in winning a playoff series after that. Man, what did it mean to you to uh, to have as big of a role and to do as well as you did in the playoffs? meant a lot um you know I, I i love a challenge i love the big games um i, I just have a lot of fun playoff hockey you know I mean, the, the fans get going it energizes me gives me an extra step and uh you know it's it's fun playing hockey when you have that big of a role so uh, i really enjoyed myself nobody knows where this is going necessarily with your contract are you looking around the place a little more are you saying goodbye to people are you thinking that this may be your last walk at some point I think you I think you treat it like you know like any other summer I mean we're we're a day off and uh, you know we've been focused on on the season the playoff run and um, you know I'm sure I'll go home and have time to collect my thoughts and obviously July is the time you make those decisions so um, yeah I'm just gonna go enjoy my family now and uh, you know prepare for the off season. did you, did you, did you look you around yourself the, yeah did, sorry did you look around the rink last night on your way off did yeah you I about that a little bit? yeah I took a you know when the we did the the stick race the fans I, I definitely took a look you just, you just never know you know even last year I did it and uh, you know you have the expansion draft there's just you could be traded at any moment in this right. league so I think for uh, you know you're somewhere for eight years. It, you know, it becomes a bit of a home to you, and um, you know, I, I know we've enjoyed our time here. So, uh, yeah, I, I definitely took a look around, and you know, knowing it could be a, a possibility that I might never play here again. Does it go without saying that you, you'd like to stay here? Possibly? Yeah, I mean, I've been here eight years. Um, you know, I, I really enjoyed my role the last few weeks in the playoffs. Um, you know, that's something I, I would like more of. Um, but. You know what? There's a great group of guys here, and uh, you know I've had a lot of fun. And uh, y you never know where it's going to go, so yeah. we'll see. Can you talk about just that, how the expectations of this team has gone up? I mean, Nick was saying you guys were so happy last year, and this year you feel like you know a little disappointed not having won a series. Yeah, I, I think we were happy with our regular season last year. Um, you know, obviously we run into the, the Cup champs in the first round, and. Um, you know that's that's who you got to get by, especially if you're in the metro, and you got to get by those top teams like Pittsburgh and Washington. And um, you know, as much as we were happy with that season, you know, you lose out in five games and you have a disappointment. So, uh, you know, to me, it's really not worth anything. But we did take steps in the right direction. But you know, come back, I, I think, especially as a you know unrestricted free agent, an older guy, uh, you know, I was excited coming in this year. You know, you have a, a second year with a really good hockey team, and um, you know, we kind of had an up and down season, maybe not as, as good as we wanted, but we finished strong, and uh, and then did another disappointment in the playoffs. So that one really hurt. Did you hear uh, Torch's comments, pregame comments from yesterday about you, uh, about your up and down season? Yeah, I you know I, re I actually heard it last night after the game. Um, he said something about a toilet seat up and down. <laughs> I think, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty honest with myself. Um, probably my own biggest critic on how I play. Uh, I, I was happy with my game this year. I, I think the only thing that was up and down like a toilet seat was my, my time of ice. Um, you know, I'd play 15 minutes one game and eight the next game. So uh, I thought I brought it, brought everything I could for, for the amount of minutes I play. And, uh, you know, I mean, if, if he wants to talk about a toilet seat going up and down, then you know, maybe keep some minutes more steady. Yeah, the odd choice of words, obviously. Yeah, yeah that coaster, you know, yeah, it. yeah, it's yeah. He he makes some interesting comments like that, but you know, that's that's his uh, that's his job. He's got to deal with you guys all the time, I guess. There's a lot of a lot of guys here that have some maybe some beefs about playing time and such. You saw a lot of guys stapled to the bench. Uh, is that a concern here with some guys? I don't think so. I mean, uh, you know, it's it was playoff hockey and. You know he needs to he needs to throw the guys that are going, and uh, you know it's everyone's not always going to be completely happy with their role, right? Um, and, I, and I'm not sitting here saying I wasn't happy with my role at all. You, you find a role and, and you're on a winning hockey team, you accept it and you play hard every night, and that's something I really try to do. And you know it obviously 
him saying, you know, I was up and down obviously bothers me a little bit, but uh, no, I was I was pretty happy with my season. I look at it as a whole. And does that play into any thoughts on July 1? I, I don't think so. I mean, it's it, de- it depends how he reads the season. Um, you know, it's uh, you know management's got to look at it. it. It's it's not all up to the coach and all that. So, um, yeah, it's uh, we'll we'll see. You know, obviously I'm not looking for a, a first line role. I I know what I know what I do and I know what I bring. You know, PK is my game. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, you know obviously as a player you'd like more. Along those lines of playing time, was it? As long as you've been here, you predate them. But Jack and Doobie have been such a big part of this team for so long, the leaders in these big games and stuff. How odd, how surreal was it to go through a playoffs without Jack entirely and, and, and Doobie in such a limited role? It was different. Um, it uh, obviously happened pretty quickly just, just over this past year. Uh, you know, two, two leaders of our team uh, the last four or five years since they've been here. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was a tough situation for Jack. You know, you never want to see your teammate and a friend uh, in that situation. Kind of a, a weird one at the trade deadline. Then he's he's with the team, and then you know not able to play on playoffs. But uh, and then Doobie, uh, you know, I got to play with Doobie quite a bit in the series. I thought he brought it, and you know, with all the all the stuff he's dealt with this year, uh, you know, I thought he did a great job of kind of separating the regular season from the playoffs and, and played real hard. Nick, uh, when he got home last night, said he sort of did the equivalent of mentally watching home movies. What what was your evening like once you got away from the rink? Just I, I went hung out with the boys. Um, you know, you just enjoy your time. I mean, we, we talked before. You just you never know in this league, and uh, you know, just went and hung out and talked about the season. Had some had some laughs. Had some good stories, and went on from there. Matt, you guys come home up two one after you, you win two games in their place. Do you remember what that feeling was like at this point? Like, what was going through your guys' head at that point? Uh, excitement. I, like, I guess I can only speak for myself, but, uh, you know, I, I was excited, but, you know, I, I knew you had to win four. And it's, you know, you know, even though I don't have a ton of NHL playoff experience, I played a lot in junior, and, uh, you know, every series is the same. And it, it's, you know, you could be in a great situation. You know, you win two on the road, you think you're in control. You, you look at the Boston Toronto series, or when, you know, road Toronto off. Um, but yeah, it's uh, is what it is. We were in a great spot, but all along we said we gotta we gotta win four to make this thing a, a series win, and uh, we didn't didn't get that done. Yeah.